Hi and welcome back to the channel. And the question is, what's wrong with this picture? It's been two months since I started filming the intro for this video. And at the time, we were on a tropical island when we should have been at the forest rally in Nanup for the largest rally of the year. Since then, we've had another round, the Grimwade Stages Rally in Donnybrook. We didn't go to that rally. And the next rally in late August, the Carry Rally out of Manjimup, we're probably not going to that one either. For the Forest Rally, it was the first time in over 25 years that we hadn't attended that event. We had no cars in it, we weren't competing, so we went on holidays. And the subsequent two rallies are going to be the same. Is there a problem with the State Rally Championship? I'll let you make up your own mind with that. However, from our point of view, it's just a weird anomaly in the universe at this point in time where, for different reasons, people in our team are not entering the rallies. They've got business commitments, family commitments, and there's probably some economics at play as well. So where we've had six or seven cars for last season and, and, be, and before, instead, we're having a very quiet season. That said, the show is still going on. So let's take a look at how the midpoint of the State Rally Championship is stacking up. Round two of the season took competitors to Nanup for the Forest Rally, which is also a round of the Australian Rally Championship, so a few Eastern States cars also came over. With about 59 entries, numbers were down slightly from last year. The event ran over two days for State Championship competitors, with a single day for clubmen. Now, having not attended the rally, we decided to follow along online. However, this proved to be a very difficult thing to do. You'd think in this day and age that live results should be very easy and the information should be accessible. However, the Australian Rally Championship has made it incredibly difficult. And so I've actually had to revert to using the local point system to work out the standings. So let's start with the clubman. Rob Russell and his co-driver Eden Hughes were in third place in their Corolla. The Wright brothers took their Hyundai XL to second place. Winning their second clubman event in a row was Luke Dunkley and Alex Baird in their XL. For state competitors, the Forest Rally is split into two heats and points are awarded for each. Within state two-wheel drive, it would be Glenn Alcorn and John Charlson that would win Heat 1 in their Toyota Sprinter. However, they had a DNF in Heat 2. Young Sam Moody and Dave Christian in their Mitsubishi Lancer would have similar problems when they retired from Heat 1, however finished first place in Heat 2. This, however, would lead both teams out of the overall standings for the Forest. Instead, Scotty Bennett and Gav Turner took their Mitsubishi Lancer to third. Father and daughter Dave and Kelly Thomas took their Subaru BRZ to second. And the win was taken by Tony Oates and Neve Nairn in their Honda Civic. With Rally 2 cars starting to dominate the outright positions, a production class has been added this year. Third place at the Forest was shared between two teams. Cam Pusey and Adrian Burney in their Legacy RS and Tim Hiles and Morgan Ward in their STI hatch. Both teams had had troubles on opposing heats, however they still finished well enough to get third. Second in the production standings went to Frank O'Shea and Mirish O'Connell in their WRX. The pair actually won heat two as well. Craig Rando and Scott Beckwith took the production win in their WRX. This was to be the last outing for the Subaru before they moved to an AP4 Yaris for the rest of the season. to the outright standings for the Forest. Dylan King and Abby Hayes did well in their AP4 Yaris in Heat 1. However, a DNF on Heat 2 put them out of podium contention. That meant that Craig Rando and Scott Beckwith had also taken third overall. Pete Rullo and Jimmy Marquette had taken their Hyundai i20 Rally 2 to second place. And winning the Forest Rally was Alex Rullo with co-driver Steve Glennie and their Hyundai i20 Rally 2. 
Round three of the championship, the Grimwade Stages Rally, based out of Donnybrook, was just a few weeks after the Forest. In stark contrast to the entry numbers for the Forest, Grimwade had a little over half as many. The organisers almost had to pull the plug until a last minute cash injection allowed the event to run. That meant that the state competitors could go on and compete over six stages, three sections run twice, with Clubman running the half distance. And let's get straight on to the Clubman results. Brothers Hayden and Adam Wright put in another good showing in their XL, finishing in a solid third. In second place was Gav Turner with Sammy Pollock alongside in the Mitsubishi Lancer. And for Gav, it was also his debut driving in a rally, so well done. The wide XL of Luke Dunkley is proving fairly uncatchable this year. Luke completing his hat-trick, this time with Tiana Chapman alongside, taking the win at Grimwade. At Grimwade, Jeremy Groherty and Kirsty Moore brought out their Datsun 1600 and took the two-wheel drive state third place. Glenn Alcorn and John Charlson fought hard in their Toyota Sprinter and they were in second place by just 15 seconds. Nick Box and Caleb Cash Ash always charge hard and in their Sylvia there was no disappointment. They took the win in state two-wheel drive. Amongst the production cup contenders, Ben Parade and Anthony Stoltari took their WRX to third place. Tom Lawton and Michael Lloyd brought their Lancer Evo 10 to second. Shaking off their troubles from the previous rounds, Tim Hiles and Morgan Ward took their STI hatch to a convincing win in the production cup. On to the outright standings and the Rally 2 battle. We'll start with Craig Rando and Scott Beckwith that debuted their AP4 Yaris. Unfortunately, the car gave a bit of mechanical drama and they DNF'd without a result. The podiums were somewhat business as usual. Pete Rullo, this time with Ben Searcy, brought their Hyundai i20 Rally 2 to third. Husband and wife Dylan and Abby King brought their Toyota Yaris AP4 to second place. And out in front, Alex Rullo with Jimmy Marquette alongside took their Hyundai i20 Rally 2 to the win. <laughs> Okay, so that's how things are stacking up at the midpoint in the season. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you again soon. Cheers.